Okay, so here is the so here is the, the quick introduction to Blitz report. So the idea Blitz report is a solution embedded in Oracle eBusiness Suite to help users extracting data directly to Excel. So uh, the idea is to have the Blitz report function in all the Oracle eBusiness Suite navigation so that users can run a report directly from whenever resp which responsibility they work in. So they can access the report either through the menu entry or they, through the Excel icon up here. And then when they open the Blitz report form, it opens directly with the most recently run report. So directly before I ran AP suppliers, the users, they would click on run. And then it opens directly, it runs a concurrent process and the concurrent process, once it's completed, it opens the Excel file automatically. In this case, it's just supplier master data, having supplier names, supplier addresses, and so on, and many, many columns. And usually, so the nice thing is the output is a real Excel file, Excel is X, the first line is fixed, and the auto filter is set. And also the size of the columns is adjusted to the size of the data so that users don't have to do the, the double click here like they have to do in some other solutions. And users, they can create templates. So they can first, they can select a report they would like to run here, up here. And here they can restrict parameters, for example, to a certain supplier number and name in this case. And they can create a template so they can pick and choose the data, the columns they like to see in the report. So they can multi-select. And then in this case, I selected only these columns. Next time they run it again, it comes out exactly with these columns. And uh, yeah, they have more layout options here. They have sheet breaks. Sheet breaks, for example, creates an additional sheet for every uh, different column value. So if I create a sheet break on a supplier type, click on run, it creates one Excel sheet for every supplier type. So that is useful if the data is very large, for example. You see here now there are different sheets. One is for employee and so on, supplier type, federal and so on. And the users, they can also create uh, pivots here on the right hand side. For example, if they want to count the suppliers by type, they can do a pivot like this, uh, move the type in the rows and the supplier name in the values. And then the Blitz report creates an additional sheet here. So first sheet is the data, second sheet is the, the pivoting of the data. Yeah, so that's the basic functionality. But this data set is not so interesting. So they also have additional layout options here with an Excel upload where they can create their own templates. But for that, I use a different data set. So now I picked an existing report, AP suppliers from our library. The tool comes with about 450 uh, seeded reports, which we developed ourselves out of the box. But yeah, there are many options to import existing reports, let's say from Discover, from Via Publisher, from any from lots of other tools as well. But to create a new report from scratch, as a developer, you have a setup button. And here you can create a new report, let's say, based on SQL query. So basically, you just create an SQL query, then click on the Run button. I'm now so used to the short uh, key that I use the short key, and then click on run and then once the process is finished it creates the data in excel so this is now all the columns from ap suppliers uh, yeah let's add in more data so set up again and let's add in the ap invoice data ap invoices all and aps name APS and let's add the vendor number as well, which is segment one vendor number. And from the AP invoice tables, let's choose all the columns. So we could run it just like this, but then because I don't have restriction parameters, it would be a lot of data. So let's add in, or we can actually run it if we, I think it's quick enough if we restrict the columns a little bit. If we only show the columns that are interesting, let's say the vendor related ones, the invoice number, currency code, what else? Maybe these ones. 
Okay, so these are the relevant columns. Let's also move them, the inverse related up to the top and maybe description up, then it looks a little bit nicer. And here, okay, so we can run it like this. To run it, we can also move the windows to the side so that we can see the changes immediately. So now it's running. Now it's running without parameters, which means it extracts all the AP inverse data in the whole system, which is a lot of data. That's why it took so long. Well, not too long, but now you see the file is nine megabytes. It's a large file. Mm, let's wait until it's finished. So that's what we see a lot, that the, the download takes longer than the file creation on the server because it's so fast. So now it's all the AP invoice data. Let's see how many records. 145,513 records. So that's why it took so long. So now let's add parameters so that it's uh, restricted. So parameters can be created from here directly by entering the name and the SQL where clause. And the so now I'm copying the existing parameters from other reports. I could also create them manually, but uh, by typing the name and the where clause, but copying is quicker. So if you use similar parameters in different reports, you can just copy them. So now I have a date range parameter. Let's use it first of gen 05 and let's run it. So this should be quicker now. Okay, so this is now the AP invoice data from January 05. So it's a lot quicker. And now in the users in the template, they can also do the pivot again. And let me show the Excel upload then. So here on the right hand side, we have the pivot fields again. Let's put the, the currency code in. So now move it to the side a little bit. Okay, so now I'm creating the the Excel file, including the pivot definition again. Okay, so now, so now let's show the Excel template upload. So now the users, they can do modifications on this file on the, on the laptop. So now it's in my downloads folder. So now I'm modifying it, making it more, more simple like this and inserting a graphic and to create a dashboard. So we can insert, let's say, another pivoting by of all the amounts by vendor. Let's insert the chart like this. Let's sort it so that it looks nicer. And we can put it on the same page can also use other Excel functionality like a slicer here, for example, on this one. So then it's interactive. Yeah. And we can also on the data sheet, we can also add uh, formatting. So we could do something like this, for example. And we can insert, or we can also change the font. We had a customer, for example, creating a barcode with Excel. So if you install the barcode font, then you can use a font like that. You can also insert a company logo. Let me do that, copying our logo and place it in here. Or for example, um, users can also end, add functions here on top. So. Finance users, they like a subtotal function on top so that it shows them the summary of the, the sum of the data. Okay, so now this is in my downloads folder. So now I'm clicking on save. So now it's saved in my downloads. And now here on the Blitz report, we have the Excel template upload functionality. And here we can choose the file from the downloads folder, upload it. So once it's now it's uploaded as a template and here we can now run it for a different date range. Let's run it for the whole year 2007 instead of January 05. And now it runs again, a little bit longer because it's one full year. And now we have the same dashboard, but for 2007 instead of 2005. So that is the Excel template functionality. So it remembers all the formatting. So this is the new data 2007. 
and remembers everything and just refreshes the whole workbook with new data. Yeah, so that is the template functionality. There's one more nice functionality, which is the multiple values. So for example, if you want to run an Oracle report, you have to choose one specific value and then you can run it. But we have this multiple value functionality. So now it runs only for, ah, oh, there's no data. That's why it shows this error message uh, because data is blank. Yeah, but uh, in um, Blitz report, we have the, diff the possibility to select different values one by one like this, or even better, what the users like to copy a list of suppliers in this case from one Excel sheet and then paste it in here so that it runs exactly for that supplier numbers. So that can be done with account numbers, inventory items, anything. So now it's running. And now it's like it, the list egg. Yeah? yeah, it's like an in clause, it creates an in clause then, basically. Yeah, it's a, so, in tech one, it's called the list egg. It's a, the uh, big data. Was yeah, exactly. Separate. And puts it in yeah. one field. And yeah, that's how it does it. So, it, and but the nice thing is that it can be copied directly from the Excel so that any Excel you have, you can take some values and then run it again. You see now it ran exactly for these supplier numbers. Uh, here are these are the vendor numbers that are selected or the ones that are copied now so yeah and it also removes the duplicate so you see now there were lots of duplicates so it scans through them and validates them and then it reruns again so that's one of the nice functionalities the other thing yeah. which the user likes a lot yeah. is integration to Oracle standard form so now I was running these reports from from our custom Blitz report form. So this is now for the different supplier names, but we can also run it directly. Let's say we are in payables here. Let's say if we have an Oracle standard form open, this one, AP invoice screen first off, and let me query some invoices. Okay, so now we have AP invoices open. Let's assume we have uh, an AP invoice for a certain supplier open for the Stargate Limited. You can click on this Excel icon here, and then we get a list of Blitz reports which are related to this form. For example, the cash requirement. And now it automatically uses the parameter from the Oracle form to generate a cash requirement for that vendor. Or now the report which we have just created, AP invoices, we can also link it. So we can say the any test report which I have just created, we can link it here to the form, to the AP invoice workbench. And now it shows up in the list as well. So here we have any test. But if you want to pass parameters on, let's say the supplier name, also that can be done. So here we can find out the forms fields, which is this one. Field is vendor name. We can configure that as well. So go to the assignments again. And here on the right hand side, we say the Vendor name or supplier name should come from the forms block field vendor name. Name. And now when we run it again from here, it automatically transfers the parameter so that directly from the Oracle standard form, you can basically access any report you like. So you see, this is the data only for that particular vendor, advanced network devices here. So that is the forms integration. So it's a generic reporting tool for Oracle EBS. It has a lot of, lot more functionality. For example, the finance reports are the most popular ones, uh, like GL balance, GL account analysis. We have a lot of reports from the finance area, but also for manufacturing, uh, supply chain management, and so on. So okay, that's Blitz report. Are you done? Yes, let me stop yeah. the recording.